Hey, what's up? It's Clary Berry, and I am here today to talk to you about Matic, Polygon, Crypto, and ooh, what an exciting time. So we just had that huge peak on the 7th before I did the last video. Unfortunately, I, I didn't catch that in time there. <clears throat> Off by a day. But of course, it had to come down, and we called that with the Mercury Square and uh, Natal Neptune for Polygon. And so it went down on the 8th, and it was funny, if you look at it um, kind of back, pretty far back now, it really, you can see um, for the 9th, we said Mercury says the quadrant Uranus was, you know, I think, you know, of course, maybe going to go up, maybe get, that was a really ambiguous one, of course, because it's Uranus, right? But one of the things I said it was a U, or like a V, and it was definitely an interesting, like, U shape, which you know, normally I feel like they're more straight lines. So that was really interesting how that did actually come across. So um, on the 10th, we had, I, I had, um, I had called for, I think a good day and it was okay. It went up, but then kind of came back down as well. So the 11th, we uh, called it with the sun square needle Neptune with the FUD and, you know, it going, down you know down or sideways it definitely went sideways it kind of went uh, like that um and then the 12th we called with a positive day it was kind of up and then or over and then up and then on the 13th of course we had our mercury uh, our sun sesco budget natal uranus for polygon and that was of course infamously um Uranus-y. It was just very Uranus-y, hard to call. It went down. I thought it might, you know, I mean, obviously it's Uranus and that was, I think, an especially ambiguous uh, aspect there. So, um, didn't, didn't quite get it on Monday there. Uh, and then on the 14th and 15th, sorry, missed a couple days there, had kind of a downward and then back up a little bit on the 14th and the 15th was kind of up and then back down. So you see, there's a lot of, a lot of kind of volatility and that can be sometimes, you know, indicative of big moves more about to happen sometimes, right? So let's go. The 16th, we have Mercury sets a quadrant natal Mars. And I think this is going to be, you know, pretty good. A little bit of growth here. Um, it could go kind of down or sideways, but I really think it'll be more sideways. It'll be up. It'll feel good. It'll feel creative. We're just not getting very far. And if we do, you know, it's going to be up and down and up and down just up a little bit so wouldn't expect huge things on the 16th um but we are gearing up guys for some big big energy because we have a lot of lilith energy really coming through now this lilith uh on the 17th we have uh lilith trine natal venus oh my gosh i think i have to sneeze and which doesn't normally happen so you know right there this is out of the ordinary okay the sneeze went away which is equally abnormal so things work out even better than we think and again lilith trine natal venus this whole thing this whole theme of this week with all of this lilith energy you're about to find out that we're having for matic is about revealing who and what Matic is all about. Okay. And also not only that, not only just, okay, re big revelation of who it is, but being accepted. And you see that here with all of these relationships, there's, there's a line of people, line of people trying to get into Matic here, following Matic as a, you know, it's like there, there's, there's something deeper with this. And so it makes me really want to go back and watch, you know, the old or look at the birth chart really. And, um, but yeah, if you check out the playlist, there should be a Matic, um, birth chart video. So I think you're going to see some of that authenticity, some unique types of energy. And, you know, it's really, it's really got a lot of things I think up its sleeve right now. And we're still so early and people don't know. So expect big, you know, big things happening guys. Um, 17th again, uh, Lilith trying natal Venus acceptance, you know, being loved, being followed. Um, you know, it's like this uncovering, you know, and the people who are into that sort of thing, you know, are definitely going to be flocking. So the 18th is the peak of Lilith. And guys, these are big aspects. This one um, ends January 15th. Lilith trying natal Jupiter is all about the big luck. This is about going higher than you ever thought. You've got the magic carpet, everything's, this is just good. Expansion, growth, taking advantage of the opportunities, you know, it's easy, swimming along, everything's 
just going your way basically there with that Lilith trine. And again, another big aspect. Now on the 19th on Sunday, we have a Uranus aspect, okay? And of course, we always talk about how hard to predict Uranus is, but I think this is going to be good. Both the cards and um, the, you know, my intuition, my reading of the Mercury trine natal Uranus here is positive. I think there's going to be enough energy. I think there's going to be enough excitement and there's news here, which is of course, you know, news is great. So if there's a buzz and then people talk about it, it creates even more of a buzz. And that I think is exactly what is going on there. So guys, again, hope you're already in. Might win a dollar cost average in early, especially the 16th looking at this week. That is my as my thoughts, my opinion, my intuition here, but that's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, just, uh, you know, amateur astrologist here, tarot reader and intuitive and cancer sun and moon sign. And yeah, we're having fun. So this is, this is edutainment, I guess you could say, right? <laughs> that's so cheesy. So anyway, see, we're going to be having some fun. We're going to be having some fun even on a Sunday. Love it. Um, so on the 20th, we have Lilith trine natal Mercury. So this is again, who are we? We're having this new cycle of, wow, it's about communication. But as you can see, I think it's also about a lot of passion here. And there's like this, again, this true you sort of a energy, this authenticity, this almost radicalism that is sort of taking the lead. And I think, again, there's this obvious, this new cycle here for Matic and being understood and talked about in a new way. I think a lot of this is, I'm getting actually goosebumps right now, guys. This is big. Um, yeah, it's like people are going to have a newfound respect and interest and passion for polygon here at this time. So that's awesome. So what happens on the 21st is we don't really have anything peaking. Take a card. Yeah. Stability sideways. Um, you might have a dip. I'm seeing you guys see that the dip and then, so it might be a V. Okay. There, um, which totally makes sense because you've got the good aspect on one side on Monday and then on Wednesday, the 22nd, we're coming through with three different aspects peaking. So, you know, that's a clue, first of all, that it's going to be good. Um, just means there's a lot of energy. So the first aspect is a uh, Lilith against sesquiquadrate natal Jupiter. So again, there's more of this you know, who really are you? Um, what, what are you really about? The things that almost you can't say, you just have to prove. And again, this is indicative to me of people not only knowing now more about what Polygon can do, what it's all about on the, you know, on that side of things, on the actual, you know, so, uh, technical side and all of that and what it's about and, and wh who's working with it, you know, but now they're getting a better feel for how the markets move, um, in regards to polygon. So it's like just uncovering again, polygon on a deeper and deeper level, the uniqueness, the differentness, how well it works. You see the peak here. So that's the energy that Lilith sesquiquadrate natal Jupiter is bringing. We also have peaking on the 22nd Lilith sesquiquadrate natal Venus, of course. And this is again, uh, there there's, there's yeah, like a turning point. I think this kind of still speaks to the up and the down, um, possibly here. It might be a little bit of extra, you know, volatility really. Um, but I think this is, there's like a passion here. And again, it's kind of a, once you cross this line, you're never going back. Sort of a, sort of an idea there. Okay. And that ends so February 4th. So very, very big. And then we also have, I'm peaking on the 22nd, Mars uh, sextile natal Saturn. So this is this energy of, um, what I had in my mind was, you know, the, the long and slow sideways or possibly over, over, over up. And so I think, you know, maybe this day wouldn't quite be necessarily as big as I would have hoped for it to be. Although really, I feel like all three aspects are positive. The cards are a little bit less, you know, I think we might have like almost this big peak, you know, early and then, then maybe a little bit sideways, a little bit waiting or even down, you know, I'm getting some V's here, but I don't think, I mean, this is stones. This is again, 
yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of excitement. Not only that, let's pull, let's just pull all of this in here. We, on the 23rd, the last aspect that we're going to talk about today is of course another Uranus aspect. So again, with numerous Uranus aspects peaking this week, you not to mention all the Lilith, you know, it's going to be just so exciting, uh, so passionate here. And again, this, Mer uh, this, excuse me, Mars, um, in conjunct natal Uranus for Polygon peaking on the 23rd, I think is going to be really good. So I think that any energy, you know, we're really, again, maybe the 21st, I think, I think maybe this peak is going to be early. I really do. I think it'll be a little bit early. You know, there's going to be some movement and some action, maybe a little bit of a lull, you know, could be could be midday it couldn't could not i think it will work out like that though for real and then that saturn again it's kind of a slow sad song you know it's like sideways for a while so somewhere there between you know again the 21st i think the peak and then into the 22nd a little bit more sideways and then ending up to be again a pretty good day in the green in the green even though there was this dip during the day that's just how it's coming across. And again, the 23rd coming through as very, very good day. You got the Mars energy, you got Uranus. This is somewhat wet. There's somewhat this down pull energy, but if you look in the background, there's really a lot going on. So again, we might have a V here, we might have, it's exciting, it's Uranus, it's extra hard to predict, but I do think there's gonna be, even if the day, I think the day should be pretty good. I think there's still sort of this transformative aspect and again like seeing the getting it's like opportunity getting the best out of every situation and even if anything sort of negative happens it's like oh we got this we got this we got we got magic here it's all magic we're having fun and that's the most important thing right <laughs> oh goodness okay yeah i'm having way too much fun on this so again that's the vibe that's the vibe coming through there's a little bit of spottiness there's a little bit of like on off on off on off because we got actually in the pre-reading we got a little bit of firefly energy okay and there is sort of this sense of you know being able to give and receive not just take 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 and go super high but again we like that because that means it's a more sustainable long-term real climb so um, looks good, looks good long term. We got again on uh, the 17th and 18th should be pretty big, pretty good with that Lilith trine energy, um, although it might be somewhat relaxed, but we'll see 19th with that Uranus energy. Um, you know, it could go, it could go down on the 19th. Again, don't, uh, just because I say maybe positive, like there's still a big question mark for the 19th, especially if the 17th and 18th do well, then of course probably going to have more of a pullback on the 19th. And that just means the 17th and 18th are going to be bigger. Right. And so Monday, it, it seems good, but it's not like super good. Actually more be, could be a little bit more sideways. Um, especially again, if we have a big day on Sunday, then Monday might, Monday's a little iffy there. That Mercury Lilith trying Mercury might not, you know, it's, it can be sideways. It can be planning. Um, but anyways, not to recap every single thing that I just said, but yeah, I, I think the 22nd should be, should be pretty good, especially early. So, and the 23rd has the potential to be pretty good too. And again, it's kind of this, uh, long sustaining climb, you know, this is like, we'll get there when we get there. We're going to have fun on the way and we're going to enjoy this. Um, so yeah, love the whole authenticity, the big sharing who it really is being accepted and loved and also all the luck. So should be pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.